Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That's one of the oldest churches in the Philippines so where I used to come from. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Isaiah 42 verses 3 to 4. It says, He will bring justice to all who have been wronged. He will not falter or lose heart until justice prevails throughout the earth. Here's my poem. Until justice prevails. The Lord brings justice to all who have been wronged. He never allows anyone to be abused for very long. He is always there when injustices prevail. Don't lose hope. Never think your faith is in vain. The Lord will not let you down or falter. He is the most faithful and loving of all fathers. He will protect all those who are faithful. He will alleviate the pain of those who suffer. Here's my essay. When you have experienced abuse and injustice, it is easy to feel helpless and hopeless. The state of being treated unjustly can be very traumatic, especially for a child. I learned to mistrust others because those people who were supposed to care for me were actually the ones who neglected and mistreated me. It taught me how to never rely on anyone for my needs. I had to take care of myself and cope with the injustice as best as I can. The Bible tells us that our Heavenly Father is a God of justice. He never allows injustice to triumph. Many people question how God could allow so many injustices to happen. Sometimes he is teaching these people what they need to learn. Prayer. Lord, thank you for taking care of those who are mistreated. Reflection. Why should we never lose hope when we witness injustices? Uh, I think that when we are in this world, when we are living in this world, there will always be injustice. Because remember, the Bible says that this is not the world where God really wants us to be. So this is just part of a journey. This is not our destination yet. And the Bible also says that the prince of this world is Satan. So in other words, um, we were made by God in His image, and yet we are living in a world that is not really where we can actually see God. We live in a world where there is so much pain, violence, chaos, suffering. But that's not what we are meant to be or we were meant to go. So when we are in this world, we 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 should expect that there is injustice, that there is um, unfair treatment. And um, sometimes uh, we are not realistic when we have very high expectations of things and of people and it doesn't happen. So, and why does God allow suffering to happen? Well, if you just look at Jesus Christ, He allowed His only begotten Son, His beloved, to go through suffering. So, the Bible also tells us that we ought to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. So when we follow the Lord Jesus Christ, then we know that we will also experience suffering and injustice because the most injustice that you could ever um, see or you could have ever seen is the Lord Jesus Christ. He was mistreated, he was mocked, he was abused, he was uh, betrayed. So all those things, if you are a follower of Christ, the Bible says that you ought to share in his suffering as well. So, but you must never lose hope because it says in the Bible that God never allows um, those who are mistreated to, to be on their own. He is always there for them. 
even if they don't see him, he will find a way to keep them out of the injustice. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day.